Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry I haven't posted for a couple of months. I've just started a second job. Um, I am now a waitress as well as working where I was. Um, so I've got a couple of little unboxings today. Um, these are from Donna Bass. Um, the link to the page will hopefully be in the description if I am able to work out how to do it. Um, so yeah, this is a page on Facebook, um, run by Donna Bass and her husband, Justin. Um, these are actually diamond painting pens and, uh, pen holders. So I received this at the end of last week. I'm really sorry about the wobbly, wobbly camera. My stand is not the best. Um, it sort of clips onto the table and just wobbles like mad whenever the table moves. Um, so yeah, this one is the um, pen holders, um, and this one is actually some pens. There's a couple of customs here, and there's a couple of her, uh, what, I think one of her pen drops in there as well. Um, obviously, Donna's based in America, I am in the UK. It took about a week to a week and a half maybe to get here, so not shipping isn't too bad, especially with the pandemic going on at the moment it's still affecting so many different countries um but yeah so let's get straight into it i'm gonna do the um pen holders first um ignore the christmas sticker that's just to hide my address um so yeah let's get straight into it um so it comes in a really cute bubbly envelope and it's purple which is my favorite color um and they've come in a little box now i have already had a quick peek just to see which ones they were um and there's three pen holders in here um if you guys are not aware i'm a bit of a crazy cat lady um i've got two ginger cats at the moment one is called garfield who is obviously a ginger tom um and i also have his daughter fluffy who is a ginger female um you might at some point see them in the videos, but they're lazy. As soon as they lay down, that's it, they're asleep. <laughs> so, so yeah, so how is everyone doing today? I'm struggling. The weather here is really hot, really muggy, and it's just, it's the sort of weather that just makes you wanna scream because you're so sticky. Um, so yeah, instantly opened up and I've got a Tootsie, Tootsie Pops Lolly, which I'm really looking forward to trying because America's sweets are different to English sweets. Um, so yeah, looking forward to trying that. And I've got four cover minders in here. They're wrapped in bubble wrap and they've got the box and the bubble envelope. So these are actually really, really well protected. Um, obviously, they're all cats, as I said, crazy cat lady. Um, sorry about the lighting, it's, as I said, it's quite dark outside, so it's, the lighting is not necessarily the best. Um, but yeah, so I've got this cute little cat that's laying down here. Um, obviously, the magnets are pretty good, actually. Um, obviously comes with the magnets as well. Um, and what you do is you stick these onto the canvas and you can rest your pen on it, you can rest your pen behind it, whatever you need to do. Um... So we have that one, and then we have one laying down. Um, I just love these, they're so cute. Um, oh, they're gonna spin because of the magnet force pushing each other apart. Another one laying down in a slightly different position. Oh, see, oh, all spinning. Um, and we have this one. So I've got two that are sort of the same the four I've got, they're both to the same sort of position, um, but they're different coloured cats. I've got a white and black spotty and a ginger and black spotty. Um, so yeah, that's those ones. So we'll wrap those back up. Really looking forward to actually using those because they're so cute. So we'll wrap those up and put those back in the box if they fit, if I can work out how to get them back in the box. So that's those unboxed and the next one is some pens now I like the way she's put the fragile 
sticker on it. Um, so as I said, four of these are customs, and there's, if I remember correctly, there's one pen drop in there. So at certain points in the week, certain days, there'll be pen drops, and you can sort of put add me, and then you get added into the pens, and then obviously they will go from there. So we have, is that everything? Yep, so we'll get that out of the way. So we have a little um, business card here. Donna Bass, Bass Custom Arts LLC. So there's obviously the email on there, which I'll link below. Um, and then obviously you've got the TikTok, you've got Instagram, you've got Facebook. Um, random giveaways, pen pops and blank drops. So as I said, I will try and link everything in the description box below. Um, as to what is what. So we've got our pen nibs, which are all singular, which I don't mind. I, I'll probably end up changing them anyway. Um, I really want to try some steel ones. Um, so we, we, they've all got this lovely little handmade with love sticker. Oh, and two more lollipops. We've got uh, orange, black cherry, and the first one I got was, oh, a banana, yum. Black cherry and banana, love both. So, so yeah, looking forward to trying those. So, obviously, once I will, once I've actually got chance, um, I'll put some pictures up on Instagram of my my pens. So this is one I've not actually tried before. It, it's a shorter pen. So it, I think they I think they're called egg pens. Um, as I said, sorry about the wiggly camera. Um, ooh. Oh, I didn't know it had a little diamond on the top. Really, really pretty. Looks like it's going to be one I'm going to have to get used to because it's such a different shape. Um, but it's like a pearlescent yellowy sort of colour. I don't know whether you can see it there. Pearlescent yellow with little rhinestones around the edge and one on the top. And you've got the hole there to be able to stick your, your nib in um, and go from there. So I'm going to put that round to the side for me so that I don't knock it on the floor. Because knowing my luck, I'm going to knock it on the floor and I'm going to break it. Just my luck. Um, so yeah, got the lovely handmade sticker again. These are sellotaped really, really well. This one I'm struggling to get into. Um, oh, there we go. Nice. There we go. So can we break it down? Yeah. So what's the weather like where you are at the moment? Like comment below and let me know. Um, I'd love to get to know you guys a bit more. Um, obviously still fairly new to this and trying to build up a, a following subscriber list. Um, I'm looking at, as soon as I get to like 500 followers on Instagram, I'm looking at doing a giveaway. Um, it will be international, so Wherever you are in the world, I will be more than happy to ship it out to you. So these ones, I can't remember what they're called, but I saw this on a pen drop and I absolutely fell in love with it. And again, you've got the diamante on the top. I mean, look at the colours on that. As I said, I don't know how well you can see, but there will be pictures on Instagram. Um, but the colours on that are something else. It looks like a, an opal type thing. Um, Looks like it's going to be quite comfortable, actually, because it's quite a, a bit of a thicker pen. Um, but it looks like it's going to be quite comfortable to use. Um, obviously, you've got your hole for your nib there as well. And as I said, that on the end. So we'll put that off to the side as well. If I don't, I'm going to put it behind me because then I'm not going to drop it. Um, and then this one, if this is the one I think it is. Ah, oh, stunning absolutely beautiful colours on this one. Now, if you hadn't noticed, I'm a bit of a purple fan. I absolutely love purple. Um, and I love the top of it. Top of it is just my kind of purple. Um, I don't know how clearly you, you can't really see it that well. You might just catch it in the light there. Um, this one I'm actually really looking forward to because this one is actually a thermal one. So the green bit will change with heat. So I'm just going to hold it for a minute and just see 
see if I can change the colour. Uh, changing very slightly. Let's see. So yeah, I'm just going to do a little um, request here. If you like the video or any of my other videos, please do like give me suggestions on companies to order from, um, companies that I can try. Um, give me a like, give me a subscribe. Anything will be a massive help. Um, yeah, I just want to connect with the people that enjoy the hobby as much as I do. Um, I find it helps with like my mental health as well. So, so yeah, colours change ch are changing slightly. Obviously, this is a quite a quick little video, so it's not going to be overly obvious. But you can just about see that it's starting to change colour there, um, and it's a uh, heat resist, like heat reactive. So the lighting on this video is absolutely diabolical. Um, I was going to do it outside if it had been like yesterday. Yesterday was really, really sunny, whereas today is pretty atrocious, to be fair. We've had rain, we thunderstorms, all that sort of thing. So, so yeah, now on to the next one. I apologise about the state of the table. Um, I need to give it a clean. Um, so, yeah, these ones, when I saw the blanks, I was just like, oh, my God, I've got to have those. They are really, really, really funky. Um, well done for wrapping it, Donna. These can be a bit of a pain to get It's looking like it's going to be a bit of a pain to get into. I found a hole. I found a hole. So let's rip the bubble wrap. Ripping. Ooh. Oh, I like this one. Obviously, it's got the hole at the bottom to put your nib into, and you've got the little brown stone on the top. But this one, it's it looks like now. Don't hold me to this because I'm I haven't worked with resin yet. It's something I want to work with, but I just haven't got round to it. Um, but it looks like it's a clear resin with pearlescent coloured resin mixed in. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, birds just flew past the window. Um, oh, that is absolutely stunning. Donna, thank you so much for doing this for me and giving me the opportunity to have these pens. That is absolutely gorgeous. And it's it's a thicker pen as well, so I'm gonna might be one that I'm gonna have to get used to. But oh I am very, very happy. These are absolutely stunning. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. Um, this is another one. This is glittery. And, oh, again, it is absolutely stunning. I'm really sorry about the lighting, guys. I'm so, so sorry. Um, I'll, what I'll do is I'll try and insert some pictures as well at the same time so you can see. So this is a thicker one. This is one I'm going to have to try and get used to. Um, but, obviously, I've not tried a thicker pen before. So... Oh, Donna, I love you. Thank you so, so much for this. These are absolutely stunning. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up because otherwise I'll just sit here and mumble and talk to you and just... Yeah. So we have five pens. And we also have the pen holders. My table's not level, so they're going to slide everywhere. So I'm just going to put them in my hand and do it this way. So let's get the plastic off. Ignore the yellow. I've just cut up some butternut squash. Um, and that stuff stains. So yeah, here are the five pens all together. Um, oh, really wobbly there. Sorry, the table stuck to my arm. Um, so yeah, five pens here. I don't know how... I mean, I'm really sorry about the quality of the video. Lighting is not the best. Um, I love the way that she puts, like, matching rhinestones on the ends of the pens. I think that's quite sweet. Um, but yeah, Donna, thank you. I'm I'm really looking forward to giving these some, some of these a try. Um, really looking forward to it. Because there's a couple there that are a bit thicker than what I'm used to. Um, a couple, I say a couple, three of them. So these, 
two on the end of the two that I'm more used to because I generally go for the thinner pens um, but I'm definitely going to have to give some of these thicker pens a, a definite try but, oh they are absolutely stunning um, anyway guys thank you so much for watching um, I'm going to wrap it up because I need to start getting ready for work um, as I said I'll try and link some pictures in with the video so that we can work out I can show you a bit better on what they look like um, because lighting is not the best um, but yeah so I'm going to shoot off and I hope you guys have a really good rest of your day um, happy diamond painting enjoy the weather enjoy holidays whatever you're doing make sure you have the best time and hopefully I'll see you in the next video which will hopefully be next week dependent on working hours the joys of two jobs all right cheers guys have a good one bye